today we're going to go through some posing with client Andrew. How long have we got, been going? Like a few months? Yeah. We've been working together a few months? Three months, I think, yeah. Something like that. So <clears throat> Andrew started with me, typically like a lot of people, holding quite a lot of body fat. So we wanted to take that body fat off, get to an efficient sort of standpoint to start pushing up and growing some muscle. He's going to compete September? Yeah. Around that time? Around that September time, yeah. Yeah, so now we're in this sort of standpoint. You can see his body composition now. It's a pretty decent place. Um, he's not like lean, lean, like stage ready lean, but we don't want to be pushing him all the way down there, wasting time or could be growing. He's in a place where he is going to efficiently put muscle on now. He's not holding on excess body fat that is just going to sort of limit that um, sort of state that he's in. So we're going to go through some posing. We're going to jump straight into it. First pose that we do when we jump on stage, front relaxed. So I've done a, I've done like one sort of session of posing with Andrew. So this is really good. So we'll be in, a, in an in-between phase here where there'll probably be things to tidy up, but he'll have a general idea of sort of how to pose. Now, what you've got to do You've got to pose to your level of muscularity and your physique. So before, when we've started posing, he sort of fixed it up now, but he'd, he'd go with quite a wide sort of stance. And you can see when he does that, <clears throat> he hasn't got enough adductor musculature to really fill in that gap. So you're just creating a massive space there. We don't want to create any spaces, but as you get bigger as a bodybuilder, you'll be able to pose that a bit wider and go a bit wider with your foot stance. But when you haven't got as much development, you want to bring that in because you don't want a massive gap in between the legs there. It's not a very good look visually. So yeah, just pop into that. You can see that he is sitting down on the leg. So if you go straighter with the legs and just show, it doesn't open up the legs as much. It doesn't show as much width on the legs, which is something that obviously we encountered when we first posed together. But then when you see when he drops on it, and pushes his knees out, it really opens up the legs and shows um, the outer sweep of the leg more. Give, again, just a visual sort of effect that we're looking to have. And then with the arms, he could probably, he's dropped into it now, he was just a bit more relaxed before I said it, but yeah, he's opening up, he's proud. You can see the lats are flaring, the shoulders are nice and high. The arms, they're good. I remember before, do you remember the mistake we were making before where the arms were like kind of quite, they were like more, more sort of like forward. And that's just a terrible look on stage because um, obviously all they see is just a fist. So he's corrected that now. So he's, he's bringing the shoulders up, the lats out, and you're sort of turning the arms down as much as possible. A lot of posing, it's going to feel very uh, sort of, counterintuitive against what your body wants to do. So when you're like that, your arms naturally want to come up because of your shoulders, but then you're sort of twisting against them. It's a very strange feeling when you get into posing, but it's something that you work on and then you'll get more and more out of it when you get your head around how it should feel and how it should look. And eventually you'll be posing without the mirror and you'll just pop into these poses, no issue at all. So quarter turn to the right, and then a side relaxed. So you can see there's, there's some things to work on here. It is a lot better than when we were first started, like I say. When we started, his sort of feet were all over the place. Now he's got that rear foot slightly set back. So if he just sort of twists a bit more that way with your legs, you're gonna get a bit of the hamstring from the rear when you're looking from here. So that just creates an effect of more width on the leg. So it's not just the leading leg that is creating this visual aspect, it's the rear leg as well. You're getting more, more sort of thickness across both the legs by having that rear leg hamstring and calf showing as well. Just again, more of a visual effect, filling more space. You just want to fill as much space as possible. And then the arm's pretty good. That arm just sort of close, close in with the fist. <clears throat> That's a lot better rather than this distraction. If you're having an arm really far out in front of you, that's throwing off the visual effect. It's taken away from it. You wanna keep that quite tight and closed in. 
trying to show this shoulder here. So this is a mobility thing that it will come in time. It feels really unnatural when you first start posing. When you're trying to twist your body in ways it has never been twisted before, it's just not where your body wants to go. But as you do it over time more and more and more, you'll be able to get around further and further and further. So you see as he comes around further, it's showing more chest, more shoulder, more arm. Whereas if he's just sort of twist back the other way, it's quite sort of just flat and streamlined. He's not filling as much space that way. You can see he's filling more space now. All I'd want you to do is just try and be a bit prouder. Yes. Yeah, that's really good. That's come on a lot. That's come on a lot. With the fist, just twist that. The other, yeah, 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 just like that, yeah, yeah. So you can see all these little tweaks are just changing the look so much. And then, like I say, as he poses more and more and more, he'll be able to drop into these poses way more naturally and twist more into it, really display more shoulder, more chest, and create just an overall better visual effect. The posing, it makes such a huge difference. It's like make or break. Um, it's funny because someone like Nathan Diasha, he takes the mick out of people getting posing tuition, but it's fine for somebody that's got a pro level physique like him. He doesn't have to pose that well because his physique's so monumentally amazing. But for, for people of average genetics like us, it can be make or break. And when you're against somebody else that might be similar on stage, you get your posing right. If your posing is leaps and bounds above them and you can display the physique more effectively, you're gonna beat him hands down. So quarter turn to the right, rear relaxed. So arms out. <clears throat> That's pretty good. You see he's made the adjustment there because he's recognizing again from the rear, the adductor space, the, the space in between the legs there. I think you could turn your feet out slightly more and we're gonna see when he does that bit more saw a little bit a little bit more come out there but when you're turning the feet out more you're turning the leg out more and you're creating a wider sort of uh, visual effect there if he goes totally the other way feet completely narrow just totally narrows out the legs so from the rear it looks like he's got way less legs so drop back into the feet out you can see there's just more more leg on display there. So from the rear, it's gonna be way more effective. And then with his upper body, this is pretty good. Similar to the, to the front pose, get those arms down, sort of more the forearms down. And then what he wants to do, he actually wants to lean his whole torso back slightly. Yes, because what you've got to consider when you're getting judged, when you're on the stage, the judges are down here, they're, they're looking up. They're not looking directly like flat at you. So you can set your, your camera up, you can have anybody take pictures of you. And if you're posing more sort of upright, the way he's doing it before, so just going more upright, yeah, that looks cool when we're all on like eye level, but really when you're on stage, you're not presenting yourself to your maximum that you could when the judges are looking up at you. So you need to consider that, you're posing for the judges. And when you're doing your posing practice with your tripod and your camera and everything, always have it set that it's looking up at you slightly. It doesn't have to be dramatically sort of down on the floor, but never be posing to something that's eye level because then you're gonna, you're gonna get used to and thinking shots are good when you're sort of like that upright. But really you need the camera down there and you need to be posing down into the camera because that's where they're going to be viewing you from so quarter turn to the right we'll do a side relaxed again the other side you can see again the slight mistake is being made with this arm there so so the fist turned in it's a lot better feet that rear foot needs to go back. Yes. So see now we're displaying more of the leg, displaying that rear leg, creating that visual effect that we've got 
more sort of space covered there. That's pretty good, and it's going to get better in time, like I say, when he gets more used to it and gets better mobility and just gets more natural with the posing. So quarter turn to the right, you come back to the front, typically you'll drop back into a front relaxed anytime there's transitions in between poses and you're on stage. Your front relax needs to be absolutely nailed because you'll go front relaxed, quarter turn, rear relaxed, quarter turn, front relaxed, and you're dropping back into that front relax. And you just get used to holding that for ages because that's, that's where you're going to be a lot of the time in between poses. And then it's going to be a front double bicep. So drop into the front double bicep, hands out in front, arms overhead. So, this has come on a hell of a lot. This is really good. I can't even remember what mistakes we were making before when we did this together. Maybe you weren't coming out as proud. I think before yeah. you were closed in a bit, weren't you? Like, I don't even know if you can remember. It was like that, yeah. That's typically, I think that's typically what a lot of people do. They're not opening up enough. They're not being sort of proud enough. And you can see how much difference that makes. So if you can just try and remember how you're doing it before and you were sort of closed in. That's what it was like before. It's a monumental difference. So now just open it up and be really proud. And I think you can go a bit more. I think you can go, yeah. And just really try and spread the lats out, like turn, yeah, turn that out. You see that made a little difference, that popped out a little bit more when he was just like turning, turning that out. Legs pretty good. During like our little push-up phase, we are gunning to put on a lot of adductor size, so hopefully we can fill that out a bit more and his stance wants to remain there. Obviously, it's not ideal if you had like no leg size at all, if you have to pose like that. <laughs> so the aim is to fill that out like fuck. So that's where his, his stance will naturally be. You could maybe play with turning the feet out a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, it's similar, maybe a little bit better. You can see from this phase we've done, you've got a little bit of detail coming through there. It's really good to see. And we've not even pushed this down very much. So it's got really good quads. You were trying to consider doing physique, weren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, then, but then the legs started coming out. And then what, what's made you sort of switch back to like, no, I could actually do class. It was the legs. It's the legs, because he's got fucking quads. So the thing is, I think people think about physique and they think, I'm going to do physique because they're less muscled. I'm going to have more of a chance. And that's pretty much typically the way you're thinking, isn't it? That's what everybody thinks. But some of those physique boys, they're fucking massive. Like, so if your strength is actually in the leg department, you're going to favor better doing something like classic rather than physique. Because you think, oh, I'll just drop into that and I'll be good. But some of those physique boys, they are ridiculous. Like they've got ridiculous levels of like upper body muscularity. So it's just such a shame if you've got something like a good set of legs and somebody's forfeiting that to go in physique and not display in them. So back into front double bicep. So anytime we have a little interim period or we stop posing, we always want to drop back into the pose we were previously on. We want to get used to, used to that habit because that's the way you're going to flow on stage. You're not going to like sort of relax and then go, oh, okay, now I'm going into front. Um, lat spread. So now drop into front lat spread is going to be your next pose. So think about, I know we've not done a lot of transitioning, but think about a smoother transition. Don't just sort of like jaggedly drop the arms down. So go from here and then from there you can bring your arms and hands out in front of you and then draw them back and then spread the lats. So you want to be nice and dramatic with it. You want to create some drama, some flow. Attention is being brought to you in between the mandatory poses that you're doing. So it's not just about sort of just having no fluidity, no sort of flow in between the poses because then they're going to be more interested in the guy that's like looking really pretty and they're going to have their attention drawn to them when they're doing something pretty special in between the posing. But like I competed this year and there was, there was some classic guy <laughs> that's dropped into like open categories now and he just had sort of incredible transitions and 
even though it won't, it's not going to make a monumental difference if your physique is leaps and bounds above the other person. But if they're doing something to just keep the attention on them and it's close, they're getting that decision. Um, so hats off to him. Uh, who was it? What was his name? Joey. I might, uh, I, might, I might at him when this video comes out, but he killed it with the transitions. So I've got to get my transitions even better. So if we're ever competing again and we're close, I can beat him in that department. So, front lat spread. Again, it's gonna be time, getting used to this, getting used to opening it up more. It's pretty damn good from where we started. Um, I feel there is a lot more to give in terms of opening it up more. So if you can try and, try and like, sort of elevate your chest more and get prouder with it, it's looking a little bit better, but then as you get prouder, I feel like your, your shoulders have come in. So yeah. it's, it's so hard. It's like I say, your, your body's trying to do like fighting against itself, doing multiple different things and it feels strange. It's like you make one adjustment, but then it takes away from the other adjustment. So this is why it's so important to get your posing nailed down and practice and practice and practice and practice because you're doing something your body typically, it doesn't feel comfortable doing, it doesn't really want to do. So that looks so good like when you drop down there, but then when you try and get prouder and open up your chest more, it's like your shoulders disappear a bit. Mm -hmm. So we'll work on that, we'll keep working on that. So that is the front lat spread. Now different federations, it's a couple of poses time, but we'll, We'll do some poses in a different order, but typically it'll all be in the same order as it has been in so far. Your quarter turns, front mandatories up to the front lat spread. Typically every federation will next go into side chest. So now drop into the side chest. The right side Strongest side. So typically you'll, everybody will practice one side where you're most comfortable with the side chest and we'll get really good at that. Super rare, but they can, in competition, ask you to pose alternate side. I, it's literally never gonna happen in a million years. And I think if it did happen, we'd all be fucked because nobody can, nobody can do the other side. Like, I can do that side fucking expertly, but like, if I try and do this side, this just, it's somewhere I've never been for. I don't even know where to put my feet. I don't know where to put my hands. Um, so yeah, just don't worry about it. Hope it never happens, but it can happen. <laughs> so this is looking really nice. Um, so much more detail to see than when we first posed together when you first started. You can see coming through on the legs now. And again, such a good decision to, to display this, to do classic because it'd be a shame to cover up the legs, they're really strong on Andrew. So, what he could be doing more of, have you got that rear leg properly pressed up? You have? I don't think yeah, you have. Kind of yeah, that's a bit better. That changed it slightly, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that changed it slightly. See, it, it just looks like instantly, and you'll see on the film, he's just got more leg, because he's pushed out that hamstring. That's what that rear leg's doing. You're pushing against it and pushing out that hamstring. So if I can drop into this with Andrew. So it's hard to do it when you practice it for, for so long the wrong way. But if I sort of drop into it without pushing against the hamstring and then I push against the hamstring and you also, you actually want to angle the leg off slightly to display more of that hamstring again and the, and the rear leg that just creates more space. So you're standing quite to the side, so we could just like turn slightly into me. Yeah, yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah, and then you're twisting the body around even more. So, so again, it's just created this visual effect of filling more space. So if you compare it to somebody else that might be on the stage with him and they're very side on, they might have an impressive physique and an impressive musculature, but ultimately if he's filling more space, that's what your eye's gonna be drawn to, even though his individual leg might not be bigger, but the other leg is lending to it. So, and then again, it's gonna get more natural with twisting into it. So you could definitely sort of twist the torso into it a bit more. And then just try and be, try and lift the chest up and be, a, yes, prouder with it. You can see, you'll see on the camera how that's instantly changed it. Again, 
when people are going into these poses, it's like you want to come round and naturally you sort of want to close in. It, do, it doesn't feel natural to come round and twi be twisting round and be proud and open up. But it's something you've got to do all in synergy together to create the best visual effect. So side tricep, this is where it, where it may differ from fed to fed and they may do some other poses first and then come back to the side tricep later. But we're just gonna run with side tricep next. So side tricep pose. Typically, if you do this, if you do this on the side that you do in your side chest, it can make it a hell of a lot easier because you can go from, just go back into your side chest. You, you can go from doing your side chest and not have to reset your feet, which makes it a hell of a lot easier and takes the pressure off on stage. So we're in our side chest. They call for side tricep. Again, make it look nice. It, it doesn't have to be sort of crazy transitions. Like I say, ultimately the physiques win, but you don't want it just to be like side tricep and you go. And then you're into it. You want, you, want, you want to create a bit of drama, a bit of flow. So make everything look nice. Side tricep, hands, grab whatever you can. Again, a lot of people are mobility restricted. They might be literally just that big. They find it hard to grab the whole hand or the wrist. I grab two fingers. My shoulders are pretty damn tight, so that's all I can get hold of. So, so I come around, grab the two fingers, and then, again, trying to twist the torso, tighten up the abs, pull the abs in, pull the abs in. Let's contract and pull the abs in. Vacuum door. Hmm? Not in this pose. This would look really strange if I think you tried to vacuum this pose. Um, you definitely just need it, but you're through thinking about what you're doing up here, you're losing the legs, not sitting on them, not pushing against the hamstring. So this is another thing. Any pose that you're doing, always set the feet first. It's easy when you're in the gym and you've got your vest on or your top off and you've got your trackies on just to do nothing with the legs. So, so they're just relaxed and you're in the gym and you're just like, that with your boys. It's, it's the worst habit to get into. Anytime you're gonna practice posing, you start from the ground up. That is like a fundamental to get good at posing. Because ultimately, if you don't practice that, you won't get used to setting the legs and holding on to the legs. So drop back into it. So you can go, you can quickly go to side chest first, set the legs as you would for a side chest. So the legs are set and now you just smooth, go into the side tricep. So the legs should be all set in the same place. As you're doing the side tricep, you might, you might have like stood up a little bit taller and then you just want to drop back into it where you were with the side chest before. So. That's a side tricep. And then the side tricep as well, you've got to consider there'll be judges all around and not necessarily with every other pose, but I think more so with the side tricep, there might, you might do just a little bit of rotation just to display to the judges. And you've got to consider where you are on the stage as well. If you're in the center, you're going to want to pivot towards all of the judges. If you're on the side of the stage, this goes for all of the poses, you're gonna to wanna to be slightly turning into the judges, not dramatically so it looks fucking weird, like everybody's straight and you're like, like that, but, but you definitely, if everybody's in a line and it's quite a few competitors and you've got all the judges there and you might have say one judge in front of you there, you, you definitely wanna be like 10 to 20 degrees off center just so those judges further along can see what's going on with you throughout all of the poses. So side tricep, drop back into it, because as I say, we go from the last pose that we were doing. Um, I've lost my head, give me a minute, I need a drink. Okay, I've got my head again. I just needed a drink, I think it's a bit, a bit dehydrated. I only just ate before this, I'm pretty sleepy as well. So, <laughs> rear 
double bicep. So, again, he's going to start with setting the legs. So, he set the legs. Let me just get over this side and see what's going on. <clears throat> again, the effect we're trying to create here with the legs and the way they're angled is to create a better visual effect, fill more space. So, I don't know what you can see, Peter, if you want to come directly behind him, but that right leg, that needs to turn out a bit more because it's quite straight on. This, this, this right leg. <laughs> yeah, this right leg. <laughs> and I think you can see, I, I don't really see just then, but I think you'll be able to see on the film. That instantly makes a difference. So before, when it was straight on, just straight on it again, the leg disappears. Like, you need to fill this space. You need to create this visual effect that you have more muscle than you do. Like, he does have the muscle, but if you're not displaying it properly, they can't see it. They'll just see just your hamstring. But this, it's, it's, it's utilizing his quad and the outer sweep of his quad. And as he's doing that as well, it's opening up the line and the, the split between his quad and ham. So, what else can we do here? <clears throat> it's pretty damn good. I feel like your, your rear leg could actually maybe come, I'm being a little hypercritical here, a bit closer in. Yeah. Yeah, because if, if you've got that too far out, then it's just harder to, to sort of like sit on it as much. Um, when it's a bit closer, you're not sort of lengthening out the musculature. And again, like we were on the uh, rear relaxed torso lean. So, yeah. And as you actually lean into it, you're sort of like sitting on the leg musculature more effectively as well. And that, that's a lot better since he's, he's lent into the torso. I'm trying to remember, again, mistakes that we made when we first posed together. Uh, what, do, what, what were you doing wrong? Do you remember? Too straight, I'm not proud. Too straight, yeah, like too upright, probably arms uh, in too much. And then, oh, that's it, a typical mistake that everybody makes. So drop into the pose, drop back into the pose. But, you know, before you were... Um, you were sort of like hyperextending the back, weren't you? Like sort of rounding it over. So you're not even doing it now because you got used to doing it right. You were flexing the spine. So flex the spine, like bend. You're still, you're still just leaning the torso. Like you, can't, you can't get out of the good habit now, which is good, but, but like physically, like bend the back. Yeah, yeah. So like the lower back was bending and flexing and that doesn't help the look at all because it closes in all of the back musculature, but now he's finding it hard to even drop out of the good habit that he's created of sort of this neutral spine, arms are nice and proud, back is opened up, torso lent back slightly as you're facing down to the judges. It's spot on now. So from here, we drop into the rear lat spread. So again, people may use um, they may they may put a different leg back, so you want to have the leg back like you did with the with the um, rear double bicep. So you want to sort of like just take that opportunity where you can, unless you are an absolute demon. You've been practicing your posing, and you can just keep flexing and not even cramp up or anything. But sometimes things change on stage. When you're posing hard, you may find yourself cramping. You're under pressure, so. You need to adapt to the situation. You can't just like fold and just cramp up and stop posing. So this is really good. Bit more lean again. Lean into it because you're lean, you're posing for the judges down below. Okay. So from the rear lap spread, we are going to go into abs and thighs. So. Have we even got this far posing no. together? <laughs> We've not even got this far. So, so, so you're going to spin round, and it's going to it's going to be arms 
well, we set the legs first as always. So this is, this is the abs shot. So abs and thighs is the abs shot. So you want to set your legs. People may do this in different ways. They may do both of the legs together there and arms overhead, flex and crunch down. They may do a leg offset that I, I personally do that. So offset the legs, get them set, arms behind the head and then crunch down, blow out and crunch down. So that's looking pretty good. Again, foot positioning, leg positioning. Yeah, pushing it, angling it out. Yeah, because because narrow, we're losing the legs. We angle out, we get more effect of the outer sweep. There's more space being filled. So with the arms, Try and get these up there. Yes, way better. You see how that instantly looks better? It just looks very strange when people have got them sort of like kind of out here. I wanna try and like pull them in as tight as possible. And as you're doing that, that will dramatically sort of increase the look of the, of the lat insertion into there. If you've got them sort of drop down where you had them before, yeah, you see, you see how it's not, um, sort of aggressively like cutting into the shoulder there, into like the armpit, the lat. If you go back overhead, the lats are popping out more, they're cutting into it there more. Just a way better visual effect. You're not filling empty space out here. Everything's closed in. All the focus is on the torso, the abs, the physique, rather than arms going out here and creating a distraction. So. There, then we can have um, a variant of the abs and thigh pose. Personally, I would, I have one where I'll keep the legs set so there's not too much to sort of worry about. So I'm going from there and then I'm just going. <laughs> so Andrew, you can give that a try. So you can go from there and then you keep in one arm overhead and then this arm you bring in down and then crunching in on the side so you you want to you keep the legs in a similar place but you turn off to the slide side slightly because you want to display this so turn to your right slightly you hold for your feet your feet yes yeah so your feet and then you're crunching in on that and crunching it in yeah so then we're getting more into just displaying the obliques um, and that side of the musculature rather than just straight on everything that's going on. So you can really sort of display a lot of detail there by crunching down on it, especially obviously when, when he gets leaner into a contest prep. So from here, we're gonna go into most muscular. So, so many different variations of most musculars. Um, there's gonna be different variations for classic, for open. We'll go through a couple. So, so from here, we've not really done most muscular together before. No, we'll do that one. So, from there, his legs are there. Just bring his legs back to a sort of a neutral sort of standpoint. First, we'll do just hands clasped, pushing your shoulders out. That's pretty good. So again, you just gotta make sure you're driving the shoulders out as much as possible and being as proud as possible with the chest. Pretty damn good. And then a variant, we can go from there. We can keep that hand there, bring the other hand onto the waist there and just make sure you're driving that shoulder out. Yeah, yeah. Make sure that's sort of dri being driven out as well, the shoulder. Even though, like I say, again, your brain's fighting against itself because it's like, what, you want me to bring it in, but you want that to go out. <laughs> so your, sh your shoulder's trying to come out, your arm's trying to come in to flex the chest. It's trying to do f things against itself all the time, but you've got to keep that shoulder popped out, but that force of like driving in and contracting the chest there, while obviously holding onto the legs as usual. And then we can go into a classic crab most muscular now i'd like to offset the legs when i'm doing a crab most muscular so you could keep the legs there and just go into it like that or 
when you stood there and you've done whatever most muscular, whether you've done that to that, you can then offset the legs again, kind of like a, an abs and thigh pose, and then bring it round and drop into it. You're gonna lean the torso forward slightly more, so you're displaying more traps, so really like lean into it. So you're sort of like crunching into it. It wants to be, you're staying proud and keeping the chest up, but you're leaning the whole torso over into it. That's way better. You see how that looks different? Yeah. And then when you've done that, you've just opened it like, just the splits come out on your chest. It looks so much better because you're prouder and showing that, that musculature of the chest and the shoulders. But if you're, if you're doing more of a crunch, then you're hiding away. You're coming in and you're hiding away. So you've got to stay proud, but bring the torso down. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. What time are we on? 1.11.50. I think what we'll do now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get down and dirty. I'm going to pose with Andrew and we'll just go through a whole round. So we've gone through all the different poses. We've spoken about things. There will be further variations and further poses on top of this for classic, but we've just gone through the fundamentals now. So most of these fundamentals will be useful for classic, will be used in classic, but there's gonna be a little bit more flair and some variation across the poses and across the transitions, specifically for the classic class. That is very much everything boxed off for open, but there'll be a bit more to classic. When we walk on stage, they're not gonna say front relax straight away, that's just what you drop into. So, so we've walked on stage and you're in the lineup, bang, you're into the front relaxed. Legs set, and then they'll probably call front relaxed, you'll already be in it. And then you'll get into your quarter turns. So, quarter turn to the right. Tricep.
Arms and forwards. Most muscular. And that's a round. So they'll do a whole round. They'll probably move some people around. They'll go through more mandatories and they'll just keep shuffling people around until they made a decision. But it's one round, not fucked. You've always done a round. <laughs> it's hard work. And I'm about to train. That is posing, sort of generally explained. I hope that is helpful and valuable to some people. Um, do you want to add anything? Any sort of revelations or realizations that you've had along the way so far with, with anything like dieting or posing or whatever? Just be consistent. Just be consistent. Follow the plan, just follow it 100% and you'll see the results. I'm only going to put posing like this to practice. I'm sure you can tell the ones I've practiced and the ones I've not done before. Yeah, exactly. So. Like I say, I, I posed with Andrew once, given some direction on things, and he's fixed up a lot of stuff himself, and you can just tell by practicing and understanding sort of the feedback, you can see that, and then poses that we've not practiced together before, just totally sort of new, and you can see that there's, there's a sort of learning process there, but again, like I just said, everything about this is just consistency. So with his diet phase to, Get where he is now, just raw consistently, just doing everything on the plan and getting better at posing, just practice, practice, practice. So that is posing 101 over and over.